and that is how i just dropped it namaste everyone and welcome back to live stronger today we are going to work on our legs we are going to start with the greatest stretch five repetitions each side without fail the regular ritual followed by a deep squat this time with a little bit of partial repetitions just to get our hips a bit warmed up for all our squatting movements now if you prefer to as i always mention you can do a 5 minute cardio to just get your heart beat up but i don't see the necessity if you are doing a good 5 to 2 to 5 minutes of dynamic stretching that should also elevate your heart beat just enough and the warm up exercises will do the rest so ensure you do dynamic stretching without fail if you feel any tightness during these movements you can really work on them and make sure that those don't render your working sets now after completing the dynamic stretching i did a small thing which is called a thomas test thomas test is where and you lie on a bench at the edge of the bench is your hips you pull your knee towards your chest softly nothing really need not push it very hard and if you find any kind of restrictions that means your hips are tight and if your other leg which is on the floor starts rising up that means your hips are tight you need to work on either getting your hips loose sometimes also pulling your leg away and then pulling towards yourself might give you an extra bit of mobility like i just did it right now because all of us can't have the same amount of hip mobility for some of us taking the knee out gives us a way more range of motion than having our knees in front of us so do try try this out before going into the squats so that you get a better understanding of what stance you should take while squatting whether it's a narrow stance because your knees come up easily or it's a wide stance because in a narrow stance your knees might not come towards your chest very easily and also you can identify any kind of hip tightness during this particular test now to begin with we are starting off with squats warm up two sets 15 repetitions now start with an empty bar then load it slightly go as slow as possible sit in the deep squat pause there for few seconds remember the test we did the thomas test that would help here because now we know where to place our feet see i like to place them wide because that allows me to go deep if i place my knees in front of me or facing forward i would not be able to squat deep without compromising my lower back or putting stress on my lower back so if i take a wide stance that allows me go down deep and without much stress on my lower back it's still under tension because it's trying to stabilize my body as i'm in the deepest point of the squat but it's not getting compromised now make sure you do at least two warm up sets because we are squatting deep and we are pausing and we are going as slow as possible it's always important to warm up and this is how i get my heart beat up now if you're new to this or if you're doing it for the first time of with a weight which you are not in much of command always use spotting bars or ask someone to spot you because this can happen with you now since the weight was not much i could easily command it and put it back up thanks to the gentleman who came to my rescue but i had it under my control fortunately it was not a heavy weight i just lost the weight for a second there now to start off with we are going to start three sets of squats 10 repetitions 8 repetitions 8 repetitions with 1 minute break in between the break can be longer up to 90 seconds it's absolutely okay if you feel a little bit breathless because deep squats with a pause are quite demanding here again you can see i'm using my squatting shoes basically shoes with a little bit of heel which helps me give a little bit more uh, i would say knee forward motion put a little bit more stress on my quads get me a little bit more deeper just to enhance my squat as much as possible and here you can see the amount of wide stance i take just to get as deep as possible and that's the deepest point i can achieve with my human anatomy you can say that so make sure you do those repetitions in that mark in a very controlled manner you need not push through it quite quickly take your time if you if you're failing way before these repetitions get the weight down try it again but yes you need to keep monitoring your weight now here is something in addition if you if you want to use a belt remember belt is not for back pains belt is to help you understand how to brace your core make sure you tie the belt 
just under your rib cage okay and it should not be very tight you should be able to breathe like see here i just did you should be able to push your stomach out expand your diaphragm while wearing a belt i see some people tying their belt extremely tight to feel that tight compactness it's not the right thing to do you need to leave a little bit of space for your stomach to come out so you can breathe in expand your diaphragm and then create that strong trunk which won't collapse on you or which won't leak energy and you know compromise your lower back and that's how you work it if you tie it extremely strong you can't expand your diaphragm because there is no space for your diaphragm to expand and automatically you're only putting all the air in your chest and your lower back is still compromised it defeats the whole purpose of wearing a belt now let's go for the next exercise once we are done with the squat take a good two minute break we are going to start off with leg extensions now for leg extensions the important part is we are going to do two sets of these wherein we are going to do 15 repetitions plus pause repetitions we are going to add on another 20 repetitions in 5 5 intervals here again you have to control the weight you have to go the full range of motion put or set your equipment in such a way that the equipment pushes your ankles or the knees completely behind and from there you want to get a complete amount of extension completely up locking out your knees and go as slow as possible as controlled manner as possible to get the maximum out of your quads your quads will be on fire they'll be completely pumped up because to all the squats squatting movements we have done almost 50 repetitions of squats it will burn you out but push through it get as many repetitions as possible using the pause technique taking that 5 10 second break in between and yes we would be done with our quad training at least after completing these we can move on to hamstring bit again same style we're going to do two sets 15 repetitions plus few more pause repetitions with 60 seconds break in between again you're going to feel a lot of tightness lot of blood pumping through which is good that means you are working your legs closer towards failure you might might i did not feel a little bit of shiver in your legs after completing an exercise that's okay that's simple muscle fatigue or i would say nervous fatigue nervous system fatigue basically your muscles or nervous system is not uh, able to take on the high amount of stress so it's firing in irregular pattern but that's fine i did not experience that because the load was not much had i done three sets of these pause repetitions i might have come very close to failure so this should be fine enough and also it limits our exercise time in between 45 to 60 minutes after completing the hamstring curls again in a controlled manner i moved on to a little bit of abductor work because i felt my glute medius and minimus are slightly misfiring or slightly weak during my deep squat because these are very important during your deep squat to make sure your knees don't cave in or you don't have any kind of hip shifting so yeah a little bit of work just to you know make sure they're all fine and good and it felt good so i decided to do three sets of these lightweight 15 repetitions just push them push a little bit of blood there get them a little bit working that's all nothing high nothing heavy you might want to do this if you have the similar equipment if you don't have it a simple side leg kicks would do if you want you can add resistance or you can also put on ankle straps you can do it on a cable machine you could put ankle weights whichever you want way you want we are basically working our abductors which are just beside our or on the side of our thigh just on our side hips basically so post completing this we are done with our leg exercises we can move on to our static stretching i'm going to finish off with a simple quad stretch on a bar keeping my ankle on a bar and standing as straight as possible while getting a good amount of stretch on my quads remember while doing static stretching you can do it couple times three times 15 to 20 second holds and that should be sufficient you need not hold it for a long period of time those 15 to 20 second stretches are more than sufficient and but you can do it multiple times you can switch from one leg to the other after completing my quad stretches i moved on to hamstring stretches again just placing my leg on the bar and leaning a little bit forward pulling my toes towards my shins 
to feel that stretch in my hamstrings. Yes, my calves are also getting slightly stretched, but most of the work is happening at the glutes and hamstring region. A little bit of twist here and there to feel the entire hamstring getting stretched. And that's it for today. We are done. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like the video, please do drop a like. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. And I would see you in the next video. Thank you for watching again. Have a good day. See you.